Hello everyone, this is Momo from Pranic Academy and uh, today I would like to uh, show you my way uh, for modifying and editing uh, a ring, especially the bottom of the ring. Sometimes uh, I, I always had this problem um, that uh, when I have a ring already made and my customer asked me that uh, the bottom of the shank is thin and I need to make it thicker or a part of the shank is not thick enough and I have to just modify it a little bit thicker or even thinner so I, I always use the cage edit command I always uh, like uh, uh, other uh, designers modeler cage edit command and uh, I use the bounding box word and then uh, we have oh sorry cage edit cage edit bounding box word uh, uh, here I need to define uh, how many control points I have in X Y and Z direction so now I choose 12 why I choose a lot of control point because uh, I don't want to distort uh, the ring rate but finally even if you want to edit carefully of at, at the end you will destroy it and it a, a bit change and also is not clean um uh, is not clean move movement and modifying so and uh, now i want to teach you a very good and very accurate and fast technique and a secret command inside the, the cage edit command and we can easily very easy and in a very clean way and modify our shank so what we need what we need to do for this shank i need to make a circle so i make a circle offset uh, it, it it doesn't matter how much uh, you uh, um, uh, how many millimeters uh, you offset but it's uh, if if you do do it as uh, uh, as wide as your uh, the thickness of your shank it helps you a lot okay so I can say that something like that, 1.5, and then I make a line, both sides, and then I hide it, trim, I don't want the top part, I rebuild them to uh, 10 control points, then offer me, I need 10 control points, and then I loft between them, I just need one control point, so check, okay, loft and turn on the control point okay great fantastic so what happened so actually i made a surface a single surface inside my shank okay so now this is the uh, uh the secret okay so still we need to use the cage edit cage edit command now let me let me do it again okay the captive is my shank especially the bottom one okay press enter select control point okay um as usual we use the bounding box line rectangle or box okay but now this is the secret is you can use this surface as a bounding box okay and i choose global and now what happened uh, the control points of uh, the surface they uh, will control the shank okay so easily you just need to move just this control point okay it's really 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 helpful and you never destroy uh your uh, uh your ring uh size okay you never you don't need uh you never do it okay great so i use it a lot and i really like this way and i hope uh, you like it and uh, Thank you so much for watching.